Steve John Colston here for GuitarInstruct.com and today I've got a new guitar link for you but before we get into that let's take a moment to click that subscribe button and ring the bell so that way you know when we're producing new content. All right let's dig in. So I've got this uh, little arpeggio lick let me demonstrate it right quick. All right, now let's break it down. So what I've got here is four arpeggios. So an A minor, G major, uh, F, uh, E minor, and an F major. These uh, four arpeggios also have an open note, so it slightly changes some of the chords. So the A minor stays the same, but the G major with the open note, becomes a G major 6, the, um, the E minor stays the same, the A minor stays the same, and the F major becomes an F major 7. All right, so let me show you slowly how this lick goes and uh, up close, and then we'll come back and talk about some other areas you can play it in. All right, so the first one is the A minor, so here's our A note. So what I've got this is A note. And then I'm going to go down to the G major. And this open note kind of acts like a pedal tone. E minor. F major, here it is again, okay now you got so in the key of A minor slash C major, we've covered A minor, G major, F major, E minor. So that leaves, what are we missing out here? We're missing D minor. So if we did the same thing, took the same pattern, and went down to from E down to D, it'd be a D minor with the E, D minor nine. Or you could go up to a C major. And if we went down from that, then we'd have a B diminished, but with the E note, that's gonna change the structure of the chords. So they would give us uh, B, D, E, F. So that's gonna make like a D minor six over nine, so. So if you played that all the way down, you'd have something like C, B diminished, A minor, G major, F major, E minor, D minor, and I just slid up to an A note. And that's it. Uh, you can have fun with this lick, see what you can do with it. You can change it around um, and maybe get a completely different um, grouping, or if you want to do it in a different key, you can move them around. Um, just be mindful of your pedal tone uh, note, uh, and you can do it on different strings. Be creative, see what you can do with this kind of style of arpeggio. Now, uh, I have a PDF available for this uh, lesson. It's, it'll be a link below uh, in, the, in the description below. And uh, free of charge, there's no strings attached at all. And on top of that, just one more last time, if you would ring the bell and click subscribe so that way you know we're producing content. With that being said, that's the lick. I hope you guys uh, have a great day and I will see you on Thursday.